All right, Justin Majeski here again for another fun-filled tutorial. I can tell how excited you are. I can see you. Not really, but anyways, let's get started. Today we're gonna learn about using the uh, clone stamp, which is a pretty awesome little feature built into uh, Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Right here, uh, say I have a nice little landscape photo I took, but what do you know, there's some people in the frame. Maybe I don't want them there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of them. First you wanna make a new layer, which is this button on the bottom right down here. Bam, new layer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the clone stamp. You can either come over here and click on it or you can hit S. Now, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. So we'll bring down our brush size to something pretty manageable. That looks pretty good right there. And what we'll do is we have layer one selected, not the background, not the bottom layer, and we want uh, a line sample to current and below. Or you can do all layers since we only have two layers, but let's just stick with current and below. So what you have to do is basically you're selecting an area. So if you hold down alt, you're gonna select an area and click and it selects that area, okay? Let go of alt and then as you come over, you can see that it is now, we can start clicking in here and pretty much just paint over these people. And you can kind of come down here, work it out. Um, I also like to keep my hardness of my brush down pretty low. Um, zero might be kind of low for this use, but let's just say like 26%. Um, and you want to kind of be looking for uh, patterns that go across like this wave. So we can go in here and select maybe that part of that wave and kind of just paste it right in. And you want to kind of keep working it around. And the most important part is taking different selections from different areas. Don't just take one selection and then just paint over these people. It won't look right. So you have to keep selecting and keep pasting in to get that uh, natural look to it. So let me go through here real quick and take these people out. Remember to keep reselecting. And anytime you have something like this, you have a line that goes all the way across, you can just continue it. And select from this side. And you meet in the middle. Okay, so anyways, you get the idea. It's good enough. Um, not the best job. I would definitely take more time if I was really going to do that, but it's super useful in um, touching up people's faces. You can remove pimples very quickly. You can remove uh, crow's feet. You can do a lot of stuff. It's a really powerful tool, and uh, I suggest learning how to use it properly. Um, so anyways, that was my tutorial today. Thanks for watching, and uh, as always, please subscribe. Uh, I'm working on a lot more tutorials, so thank you very much.